Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Face and I'm here from Reading Productions after a very long time. I think a month or so. And today I hopefully have a wonderful and exciting tutorial for you. And today I'm going to show you how to how you can create your background in After Effects, your YouTube background in After Effects rather than on Photoshop. Now, what is the advantage of that? Uh, for someone like me, uh, I am most acquainted with the you know layout of the for After Effects window rather than the Photoshop one. So, and you can even add some of these evolution elements and other things that may be difficult on uh, you know your Photoshop. So, so right away get started. You want to, uh, first of all what you want to do is go to your channel right here. This is my channel, and hit F11 if you're on Chrome to go into full screen mode. And if you're on some other browser, just have to find the product. And once you do that, just print this under our screen, paste it on a paint window, save it, scroll down, print screen, save, scroll down, print screen, save. Most probably in three print screens, your entire channel should be covered up. And you should have three pictures, like I have here. This is the first part, this is the second part, and this is the third part of my channel. So once you have the three images, you want to import them into After Effects. And once you've imported them into After Effects, right here, you want to pre-compose them. So, uh, you first of all create a new composition, which is really large, and then add these images to the comp. Align them as though they were one image, like I have here. So, you can see here that I have, you know, aligned them as if they look the same. And I've matched them really, really carefully so that they don't look overlapping, like that. And once you do that for your channel, then um, you'll have something that looks like that. And uh, don't, you know, zoom in too much or you'll have some problems there. And uh, then you want to, what you do is select all these three layers, go to layer, pre-compose, and then pre-compose them and lay a channel. And this is my channel here. And then what you're going to do is, you can move it down this channel here, right there is um, without selecting any layer just go into full screen mode for the preview and um, move it here there there and um, then what you want to do is grab your this uh, shape tool and draw a mask around the places uh, whoops if you get this kind of thing that means you accidentally selected the layer which you don't want you just want to not select the layer actually okay and then so, uh, select this tool and then start drawing on my uh, sorry okay so in full screen it becomes really difficult to maintain what's going on here so um, you go and grab this this thing here and not select it and then make a shape around your tile your featured video place here it doesn't have to be really perfect and uh, maybe it's too small for you to see but you have to make boxes around uh, each of your uh, YouTube layout things uh, I'm not hiding them just there you go and then one around here maybe uh, maybe if you can see, just move it up here, and then select the layer again, select the shape layer, and um, just move on, like that, whoops, and make sure you separate them if you want to decorate different items separately. Now, this is not absolutely necessary for all it. For example, if you see my channel very closely, I didn't draw all of it, because um, I didn't want to draw all of it. I just wanted to decorate this part here, so I just drew these two shapes here. And once you've done that, uh, just create a new solid. And this solid is going to add just a background here, make this comp size. And click on OK. And move this below your shape layer. And then switch off your channel thing. So you basically have a layout of your channel here. And once you're through with that, decorating around that and around here, like I did. What you want to do is hit Control K. Actually, you want to Control click on this time here, so you switch to frames, and then hit Control K. And in the bottom thing here, right here, 
you want to make sure that um, this is zero 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 whatever number of zeros. I think you want to do three four zeros and a one here so that it's just one frame long and then if you export it as an image sequence you can actually make an image out of it but the problem is this extra space here actually it's not a problem because YouTube will also only use this part of your image so it's not a problem you just need to make sure that you don't decorate this part because this part will not be visible there so another thing you can do is make this layout in Photoshop and then save it as a PSD document and then import it in you know After Effects then it will be easier to work with but uh, once you've done that just select this composition and go to file export image sequence right here and you want to uh, export it as a PNG and search space and click on OK save it to desktop and just name it test and then click save uh, sorry I'm going to save and it's going to save the frames and there you have your test now you can it to for some if you have size problems for example YouTube only allows you to upload picture with 256 kilobytes so you'll need uh, actually you'll need Photoshop for it actually this is a, an empty image so it's really small but if you start decorating it with all this fancy stuff it becomes really large and actually you, you will need Photoshop to adjust the JPEG options and uh, or actually you can use any image compressor you want uh, but it will be low quality so and you want to make sure because YouTube only allows you around 256 kilobytes of you know the image which you can upload there so see if you look really closely these fonts are from um, this one's called CGF Locus Resistance or something and this one, this arrow little here, I created in, in After Effects and this is an element from the Evolution Collection and same thing here and I didn't repeat my background so it's black here and I changed these colors here to make them match my background and while I was at it I created a new profile pic make sure you comment on that and my new channel so that's it, that's all I wanted to show you please comment, rate and subscribe and um, yeah no, actually, just forget it. Uh, thanks for watching.